Hi guys, it's Miss Tara again from the Northwest Library and I'm here to share some of my favorite books for the month of August. We're going to go ahead and get started. This is Flip a Feather by Sarah Ball. So flip, a flip and flop the heads, bodies, and tails of ten remarkable birds to make thousands of crazy combinations. Alright, so this is an interactive book for your kids. As you can see, we have toucan, ostrich, and I have no idea what that is. But that's what your kids can do. They can start with the head of one bird, the tail of another, another and the middle of another. And there are some fun facts about the different birds up top. So very interactive, fun book for your kids. Again, this is Flip a Feather. The next book here I have is The Perfect Plan by Leah Gilbert. Um, so this... Leah, uh, this little girl here, is trying to create the perfect place, a special, comfy, cozy place to hide out, read, dream, and play, but she can't do it by herself. So some of her friends, like Mr. Bear, um, Mr. Fox, Beaver, and Moose do help her out. So it is a beautiful book uh, with lots of um, funny things that happen in it. Uh, here's Moose trying to help out um, some good vocabulary words like strongest and sturdiest. And they are in big bold print. Um, so you can point out some good vocabulary words in this one. And this one is called again, The Perfect Plan by Leah Gilbert. My next favorite right now is Marty. Marty the... Uh, this is Marty by Rachel Noble. I have a little bit of a glare. I apologize. Um, so this is Marty, and he is a master of disguise. All right. He's a tiny green fellow who lives on Earth. You've never noticed him before because he is undercover. While in disguise, Marty makes lots of friends. He's always watching, learning, and laughing. But Marty has a secret. Marty's not from Earth. Okay. So, you get to see lots of people in here. And then try to figure out if you can point out which one Marty is. And what he's doing that day. Um, you can see him making his own outfits. There's not a ton of text. This would be good for a new reader, probably. Um, with a little help from mom and dad. Pretty funny, uh, Marty the Martian, who has uh, come to live amongst the people. It's a cute book. So I'm sure none of your kids ever aren't tired and don't want to go to bed and aren't tired and don't want to take a nap. So here we have The Little Monkey Who Wouldn't Sleep um, by uh, Mag Tackick. All right. Lots of fun pictures um and he just doesn't want to close his eyes i love all the animals in the book look at sloth here and elephant anteater illustrations are a lot of fun to look at um not a ton of text okay not a ton of text uh, again good for a new reader um not and a lot of things to look at. So, Marty's not tired. He has lots of things he would rather do, like sing with Ducan. Or go diving in the lake. But, his eyes do get heavy, like all little kids. And, um, maybe he goes to sleep after all, right? Alright, so this is probably one of my favorite books for the month of August. Um, I'm pretty sure it was written by a cat. Um, I love the author, Jory John, and the illustrator, Lane Smith. They've done a lot of great books. This book is called Cat Problems. Um, and if you have a cat or know somebody who has a cat, I would highly recommend that you show them this book. Because, like I said, I'm pretty sure my cats could have written this book. Um, or any cat. Because, yeah, this cat ha does have problems. Um, but it's like... There's only a few pieces of food in his cat bowl. Or his brother 
is in his first spot, his second spot, or his third spot. Um, let's see. There's a monster that chases him that makes a lot of noise. Um, let's see. Uh, I want to eat that plant. I want to chomp that book. I want to scratch the couch, but I already tore all the material off both arms. I want to rip that curtain, but hey, that's just me. Anybody have cats like that? Love this book. Cat Problems by Jory John. And if you haven't seen his other books, highly recommend you check out his other books. And Lane Smith does excellent illustrations. Okay, so um, I really like this book. It began with Lemonade. It's by Gideon Stir, okay, and it is about a little girl who wants to have a lemonade stand, okay. So she makes lemonade with her dad, which is awesome, and then uh, she goes out and she wants to sell lemonade, but all the other kids are selling lemonade, and she wants to sell her lemonade, so there's nowhere to do it, so she... Decides to go for a walk to find a place to have her lemonade stand. Um, and things get a little scary. She ends up falling down a hill. And her lemonade stand ends up by the edge of the water. Which she thinks is not good. Um, she sits for a long time feeling like a turnip. So, um, but then some friends come along and help sell all of her lemonade. So... The animals save the day in the end, and I love this story. Again, it's called It Began With Lemonade. Um, this book is called No More Plastic. It's by Amy Fullerton. I uh, really love the illustrations in this book. So it says, Isley loves the sea and everything in it. Living things, that is. The amount of plastic waste floating in the water breaks her heart. Okay, so it talks about a little girl who loves to go out into the water, but one day they find a sick whale. And what do they find inside that sick whale is but a lot of plastic. So she decides to go out and help. So it's a good story to talk about recycling and the earth and what we can do with plastic and other things we can use besides plastic. And on top of that, amazing illustrations. Just really beautiful illustrations, in my, in my opinion. So, um, yeah, good, good picture book. I like that. And since we talked about dogs, I thought for our last book, we would talk about... Well, we talked about cats, rather. I'm sorry. And now we're going to talk about dogs. This is called Dogs at Work, Good Dogs and Real Jobs. And I actually learned... Um, about some jobs that dogs do in this book. I knew they had some jobs, but they have a lot more than you think. So um, this book is written by Margaret Cardelio. Okay. Dogs at work. Good dogs, real dogs. Um, so dogs going off to work. The little girls are wondering why they're going off to work. And they talk about different things dogs do. They do eat and dig in the mud. Uh, there are pageant dogs. And you can read to dogs at the library. Um, there are fire engine dogs and dogs that help when there's an avalanche. Um, uh, and dogs that are our best friends. So. Lots of different jobs in here that maybe your kids didn't know about, that, that there's something other than just a pet. So uh, this is uh, Dogs at Work, Good Dogs, and Real Dogs. Uh, so those are my books for the month of August. I would love to know what books you have read and you've really enjoyed. And I will catch you all in September with some new picture books. As everybody's going back to school or starting homeschool up, I hope you have a great school year. And don't forget the library has lots of resources for you. All right. Have a great day, guys. Thanks so much. Bye.